starting world. Or in the nether from his original world or whatever. But I think that's a pretty cool concept. Um, and I didn't even think about the idea that, or the fact that uh, in Quantum Leap, um, Scott Bakula's character is Sam Beckett. <laughs> I didn't even make the correlation. I just thought it would be a cool idea to have my character of Sam uh, travel to these different worlds via the portals. Um, so it only occurred to me later that it even remotely resembles Quantum Leap, let alone the fact that even later on I realized my character's name is Sam and Sam Beckett is the main character from Quantum Leap, so... Anyways, that's just some more thoughts in my upcoming series for you guys. I think it's a cool concept. We'll have to see when I play it out how far it goes, but... I would much rather that have the portals actually go to these other worlds, random generated worlds or whatever, than to have it go to the nether, because I'm not a big fan of the nether at all. I really couldn't care less for it, but... Um, the idea of stepping into a portal and ending up in a new world is pretty pretty fun to me. Or even even being able to step into a portal and then ending up in a new part of the same world. You know, and then having a compass with you so you could backtrack to your original spawn point and see where you've ended up. See how far the game has uh, taken you, you know. I think that would be a cool aspect. Much more fun to me than um, than using the nether at all, really, to be honest. Uh, but anyways, this is Kriana's world. I'm wouldn't surprise me at all if she's been here already on her own random explorations, but figured I'd check that out for you. So there you go. And uh what else? Delete that new Hmm. Now, I'm probably going to get your name wrong, but you've been wanting a shout-out lately, so let's see if I can do it. The Pro Gamer... I think that's how it goes. 1999. I know it's the Pro Gamer 1999, but I'm not sure on all the capitalizing of the random letters, so you'll have to forgive me if that's not right, but... One of my subscribers or viewers or whatever has been asking for a shout out, so there you go. Um, we'll check out your world, the Pro Gamer 1999, just for the funsies. Again, keep in mind, spawn points are random. World generation should be the same based on the same seed, but you might end up in a completely different spot. So is anyone excited for the new update coming out that's supposed to have wolves that you can tame and have follow you around? I think that sounds like fun. I really do. It would be so nice to have a pet in the game that isn't like a mod that could follow you around. Even a companion doesn't even necessarily have to be a pet. It would just be nice to have someone or something else to hang out with you. Um, that's why I'm going to have Charlotte in the game as a mod. is For that very reason, to have a companion around to, uh, to help notify you of enemies being around, to help you fight in combat, to uh, just hang out with, you know. And you can't really have conversations or dialogues with Charlotte or anything, but it's just nice to have somebody to hang out with without going too overboard, like I said. Don't want a lot of human NPCs in the game, but I think wolves would be a cool addition into the actual game. Especially since I'm not going to have wolves in the Moles Creatures mod. Um, I was going to have wolves in the Moles Creatures mod, but then I heard the wolf updates coming out, so I decided I'm not going to bother. 
I'll just have the official wolves instead. And then with the cats mod that I'm going to have, the, the Nico cats or whatever, it'd be fun to have a cat, a wolf, and Charlotte running around with me <laughs> while I'm riding my horse. Wait, what? Black screen? Alright, so I'm back. Uh, the the Pro Gamer 1999's world crashed Minecraft. <laughs> I don't know why. Um, but I'll give it another fair shot. Just for the funsies, because it's not the world, it's just that the game crashed. It does that randomly at times. We've seen it before in my other Let's Play of Minecraft. It used to crash every now and then. It's just how it goes. Just how it goes. So anyways, yeah, as I was talking about before, I was so rudely interrupted. It'd be fun to have Charlotte and a cat and a wolf fall following, one running around with me. That'd be pretty neat. And with most creatures mod, we can have horses. And Charlotte can even ride horses with you. So if there's, if you get on a horse and there's another one that's tamed and everything ready to ride uh, nearby, Charlotte will get on that one and then you guys can ride horses together. So that'd be pretty cool. And she can also ride boats and mine carts and all that too. So that's pretty neat. So anyways, this is the uh, Pro Gamer 1999's world. Lots of stuff. Alright, so onwards to other seeds of other worlds. Delete. Uh, new. Let's see, um, what else? What else? I don't think my Mackie 1987 has Minecraft or even watches my Minecraft videos, but she is another viewer of mine and fellow Let's Player, and I figure we might as well see what her world generated seed looks like. Even though she probably won't end up seeing this video, who knows? It's a snow world. Yay. Well, she is from Germany, and Germany's in the north, so I imagine this is somehow fitting in some way or an another. Snow biome for the win for some people. <laughs> It's looking like another decently sized one, too. I think I'll go ahead and explore this place until I find a different biome. Just so we get an idea of how far this extends with the snow. Well, it looks like mission accomplished. There's regular grass and stuff over there. So that's cool nice little pool here on the mountain. You could make a home here and have a little natural lagoon thing for your home. That'd be neat. I'm not going to because I'm not a huge fan of snow anymore. <laughs> I can do without it. Um, so yeah, this is Mamaki 1987's world of awesome.
Mau. Silly cows. Um, another thing about wolves being added into the official update is that it'll provide another animal in the game. I mean, chickens, pigs, cows, and um, sheep are all well and good, but just four animals gets really old after a while. It'd be nice to have some different animals in. I wish they put in birds in the game, because I know like Moe's Creatures mod has birds, and I know I keep calling it Moe's Creatures instead of Mo Creatures, or whatever its stupid name is, but whatevs. But it'd be cool to have cute little birds floating around without having to resort to a mod to do it. I'm hoping in one of these seeds that we generate will end up either in or close to a desert biome because we haven't really done that yet. Shut up, cows. Don't make me take the time to make a sword on a useless world just to uh, kill you. <laughs> and I'm not saying this world is useless. It's just useless to me because I'm only hanging out here to show you guys what it is and then... That'll be it, like with all the other seeds I've done so far in this video, or set of videos probably, by the time I get done. Alright, time for another world. I can only handle so much winter biome. Um, delete that one. Create. Suck my pinky one is another viewer, I believe, who has commented recently quite a bit. So we'll check out that world seed. You guys and your crazy names. I'm just going off memory, by the way, so if I get your names wrong, I apologize. Just keep that in mind. Do 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 Hey, it's a deserty biome. Thank you, suck my pinky one. <laughs> Your world brought us into a desert biome, which is what I was looking forward to. Desert biomes are fun, especially with the addition of sandstone. Um, I'm actually hoping when we uh, start up Sam's Minecraft adventures that uh, he ends up not necessarily in a sand biome, but near one. Because I think that'd be kind of fun. Another curious little addition to Sam's Minecraft Adventures that I'm kind of looking forward to is that I'm going to play Sam out as a friend to animals. So what that means is that he won't kill any animals Ooh. on his own. Uh, unless it's like by accident or something. If he's fighting like an enemy, like a creeper or something, and animals happen to die, well, then they happen to die if they get in crossfire. But he won't go out and like murder pigs and cows and stuff. Um, and what this will end up doing is um, making farms, wheat farms, and fishing that much more worthwhile and valuable to have, to use, to make use of. Which is what I'm looking forward to. And uh, I think that would be fun. Um, I think it would be, f it would, it would turn pork chops into treats for Sam because he would only get them either if pigs ended up killing themselves, like if they stepped into a 
or near a lava pit or something, or they fell off a cliff, or or if like a skeleton shot them, that sort of thing. You know, and with mo with most creatures in, then there'll be lions or bears or stuff that might end up leaving uh, pork chops around because they attack some of the animals. So pork would end up being more of a treat than a uh, reliable all the time food source and it it would be that much more worthwhile like I said to make a farm or to go fishing he'll probably Sam will probably be a, uh, more into fishing than farming because I would be more prone to fishing than farming I find fishing to be a lot more fun and quicker and easier to manage and all that um, but I think that would be fun for me and probably interesting for you guys because when Sam's armor runs out, he won't be able to just run over to a cow and kill it because he's a friend to animals. Um, so he might have to end up relying on like iron armor or better. Or not having armor at all, you know. Or uh, relying on other animals like lions or bears to do the killing for him. So that... Uh, that would be how he gets leather and all those materials which I think would just be interesting and it helps because because of most creatures having lions and bears and stuff that kill these animals and leave their drops all around um, it'll help to make use of all those item drops that are gonna end up sitting around on the world that I end up picking up it'll make it'll make that kind of gathering of leather and pork and stuff actually useful other than just having wasteful drops around everywhere because that'd be the only way to obtain the leather and pork and whatnot. So that's an interesting thing to uh, think about for uh, my upcoming series. In this texture pack, the squids, I made. I chose to have the squids this light grayish white color so they're easier to see because I've always seen them in the deeper water. I haven't even seen them up to the surface like they are now, so I don't know if that's an effect of having a newer map or, or what, but there you go. So I believe this is Suck My Pinkies, Suck My Pinky 1. This is his or her world from the seed generated. Pretty cool. A lot of sand. So if you're looking for a snow biome, this is this is maybe some some sort of seed you want to look into for that sort of thing. Anyways. New World, um, let's see, who else should we make a seed from? <laughs> let's go with Wizbuzz. He used to be a, he used to be one of my original uh, viewers that made the first comments on any of my videos. He used to hang out for quite a while back when I was doing Mass Effect and I think even Mass Effect 2 and I haven't seen him around in a while but hopefully he's still watching. So this is Wizbuzz World Seed.
Lots of trees. We ended up in some sort of forest, I think. A lot of trees. We'll never be short out in wood here. So many trees that it's creating shady areas that I'm sure enemies would spawn in all the time. If I weren't on peaceful. Wow. Massive monster trees. So dark. So <laughs> so thick with wood and stuff that they're blocking out the sun. That's pretty awesome. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Of course that might have just been a lighting bug too. Those happen occasionally from time to time. Gravel does seem to spawn a lot in these newer worlds for whatever reason. I've Back in the older world maps, I don't think it spawned nearly as much right up on the surface like this. But it certainly seems to be more widely available in these newer maps for whatever reason. Anyways, onwards to new seeds before I run out of footage time, which I'm probably already getting to. Um, delete. New. Toxic Hazard. I think there's four Z's in your name. If not, I apologize. This is your Minecraft world. That should be a TV show. Welcome to your Minecraft world. Kind of like the old show, This Is Your Life, or whatever. I don't know. Um, this is pretty cool. Toxic Hazard has lightning, or not lightning, lava right by... Well, where we spawned in, anyway. Open lava. And iron. That's a bad, bad iron. Trying to trick us into getting thrown into lava. That's pretty cool. It wouldn't surprise me if the guys that run the Toxic Hazard channel... There's a couple of them, I think. A couple different people run it. Um, it wouldn't surprise me if they've been on this map already, too. A lot of a lot of Minecrafters like to uh, check out their own names in the world seeds and see what comes up, which is fine. I mean, I did it to start off this video, but ooh, you guys have a lot of pumpkins. You better make use of those and turn them into jack o' lanterns. And natural sandstone in the game now. That's pretty awesome. I like sandstone. I like the fact that even regular stone picks will just burn right through sandstone now. It's almost like it was nether rack, really. It goes through them pretty fast. Which is nice. I like the look of sandstone. Even in default, I like the look of sandstone and the default textures. And I'd much rather use it than cobblestone for almost anything, really. Hmm. Biggers! Yeah, look at all this gravel. I, I've never seen this kind of gravel on the older maps. Used to only find it in, like, caves and stuff. Or on the side of mountains. You never found it just sitting out here in, like, its own beach area.
But whatevs. Whatever. I'm sure a lot has changed since the last time I ever tried to spawn a map. Random gravel placement for the win. So this is Toxic Hazards World Seed. Alright. I can probably fit in a couple more. Just for the funsies, why not? Uh, delete. Create. Let's go with Notch. Everybody, I'm sure, in their seed generating experience has made the world of Notch. Do 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 So this is the world of Notch, huh? Hmm. Random stack of dirt and stone for the win. Piggy. Piggy. I'm not going to hang around here on this world too long because, like I said, everybody and their dogs probably made the notch seed at some point. If not their first seed, then probably their second or third. <laughs> I also like on the texture packs the little flower on top of the cactus. That's pretty cool. And this, of course, is the custom painterly pack. Not the default. If you guys can notice from the different sand and dirt.